Hello guys and welcome to this video. Here I've got an SKX 013 Batman mod and the special thing about this watch is that this is the first time I'm using Namoki's fitted rubber strap. Um, so I decided to make this video quickly just before I hand this watch over to its new owner um, who originally got in touch with me on Instagram, that's at Seiko Mods Dubai. I'm based in Dubai, UAE. I've also got an online store, SVK Watches, so if you're interested in any of the watches shown today um, or on my channel history, please check out my website and contact me uh, via the links below. So, as mentioned, this is an SKX 013, so this is the 38mm dive watch from Seiko. Um, a pleasant offering for anyone with a smaller wrist because generally Seiko watches run quite a lot bigger. You can see the one on my wrist is a 42 uh, or 43 even this one and you can see the clear case size difference. So if you're looking for a baby SKX or a smaller wristwatch um, case size then uh, this one is spot on. Now some of these parts are for also from watch and style. I'll link the links below. Um, but the, today I really wanted to show you this strap because I'm super impressed with it. This one's from Namoki Mods and when I first got it, they actually supply it in this nifty little box. So I'll just move the watch out of the way. This is the classic sticker that you get with every order from them. And obviously the strap is already on the watch, but I was just really impressed. This is quite a decent case to get a, a rubber strap in. You also get some extra spring bars and a fitting tool, so I'm going to pass that on to the new owner as well. But this is really handy for straps and parts, so um, really nice touch by Namoki there. If you're ordering a watch from me, you also of course get a leather watch roll and some of my own stuff, but I will include those from Namoki as well. Now back to the strap, now I've, I'm no stranger to this type of strap because often I'm making watches like this. This is an all black sub-style um, mod with a, a fitted rubber strap from DLW and uh, now if you compare them obviously the case size is different but this right hand side strap this one was from Monstraps originally they partnered up with DLW so you can also buy these on DLW's parts website um, these are super popular you'll see these all over the place everyone's using these straps because they're great quality last a long time spot on but they don't come in a small enough size for the SKX 013 size. So this is 20, this is 22. So obviously there was a gap there and the Moki managed to fill it with this strap. Now a little bit less defined in its profile, but super supple and soft. So this, this video is mainly to show you the strap because though I love this watch, um, I didn't feel right letting it go without showing off this strap too. There's a few little interesting features. Firstly, um, the material itself, let's try and zoom in on the action here a little bit. You can see that it's embezzled with the Moki branding. We've got some grooves here to help keep it comfortable and expel any sweat and let a bit of air flow through it as well. Um, it's very soft, uh, but not so much as it starts to feel cheap. I've had straps before where they feel far too soft and flimsy, especially at the ends here. Um, this, you can, I mean, you can't even see where the case finishes and the strap starts. So really good work in getting this strap to fit up to an SKX 013 case. Um, by the way, Nimoki do sell all the parts needed to make this mod as well. I got some of these ones from Watch and Style, including the bezel, just because we preferred the um, slightly smaller numbers but you can make a similar watch just from parts from Namoki Mods as well. Nice signed crown, slim case back on this one. Um, of course, Namoki engraved um, clasp or buckle. There's something interesting about that, which I'll show you in a minute. And uh, in terms of size, this stand I always use, zoom out, this stand I always use is um, an average wrist wrist size basically. So whenever I make a watch, I make it fit this stand and it tends to uh, work well with all my clients. I've got really large wrists, so I can never really use my own wrist size as um, reference. So this is around six and a half inch or so. And you can see it's plenty long enough for that. It's almost a perfect fit for the average wrist on this case, which is what it will be used on. 
They may be able to use this strap on a couple other cases, but best to check with the Moki directly. All I can say it is quite tough to fit this for the first time if you've not done a strap like this before. Um, fortunately, this case has holes in the lugs, so that helps removal and in some ways helps fitting as well, so you can be sure it's definitely fitted. Um, but yes, you do need to push quite hard to get this strap on, but once it's on, um, it really hugs the case and I'm really pleased with it. Namoki also do a bunch of different cases, so you don't have to have the crown guards, you can have a case with the crown at three, and this strap will still fit all of those. Um, if we take it off and unbuckle it, this is what I mean little attention to detail. Now, one way to check if you've got a good quality strap is if you look around the keepers, so you can't see any ridges from where it's been molded. Um, so I've had watch straps that are much cheaper and they have clear ridges all the way down the edges. And then especially on the keepers, you can usually spot it where the material has been molded and it's not, so, not done in a, the best way. Um, this one you can barely feel or see any ridges, so really nice work there. Um, you've also got this clever keeper holder, which is similar to the one found on the Monstraps as well. It's a little more hidden on the Monstraps, but it does the same job. Um, and underneath, this is the bit that confused me. I'm not totally sure why they do this. Perhaps someone from Namoki can let me know. But when I first got this strap, I was suddenly shocked. I thought... They've sent me something with a broken pin here in the pin buckle. Um, but I believe this is done to just ensure the strap stays on um, even if it comes out of a keeper because it's a little harder to get the strap through, uh, on and through a hole. But once it's on there, it's a lot stronger. So I was just shocked at this design, but then I thought, okay, yeah, it definitely fits. So that's a, a really unusual thing. I've not seen that on any strap before but they've clearly thought about it. Um, so well done to Namoki for supplying such a lovely rubber strap for a watch that I know is still very popular, especially for those with a smaller wrist size. So SKX-013, of course I do modify them. Um, this one's built for entirely from parts, so you could choose your own bezel, choose your own dial, hands, everything. Um, this one looks very similar to the original. We've used SRPD hands or SKX hands. We've got a ceramic bezel, sapphire double dome crystal, slim case back, and of course an NH36 inside. So the strap runs definitely thinner if we compare it to this one, but the idea is to keep it comfortable, especially on a smaller case watch. Um, a thicker rubber strap also suffers from, um, you know, this doubling up here, um, whereas this one is a little, a little simpler but it is um, really nice and comfortable all the way down and it does taper just a little bit uh, to make it more comfortable as well. So overall thoughts, excellent strap by Namoki. Thank you for bringing these out. It's been ages since I've had a go at an SKX-013 build. Um, so I'm really excited to show this to the new owner. I'm sure he's gonna love it too. And um, yeah, keep on modding guys. Check out my links in the description for the products I've shown. And of course, my own websites, Seiko Mods Dubai on Instagram, SVK Watches, and I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for watching.